Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So I hope at least a basic knowledge you have got from a previous lecture. Now what we'll do is we'll try to find all these things and already I've given you an idea what we are supposed to do. So quickly tell me what is the angle that at which this bar will be laid. It will be laid at an angle of 34.34 degree. That is the one thing I came to know. Next what I'll do, I'll quickly try to do this thing from here. Anyhow, let me try to keep it here. Hmm. Okay. So now what I'll do, I'll try to put one line here. And also I'll try to put this one. And then we'll try to find this particular length. Okay. And now what I'll do, I'll give a name to all these things. So I'll name this particular inclined C. This thing I'll name it as A. You can name anything. I'm just naming A, B and C. Okay. So first what I'll do, first I'll try to find what is this B. So can you find this B from here to here? It's very simple. You know, the width of your plinth beam, it is mentioned 300. The width of your beam, what is mentioned is 300. So from this 300, if I deduct one cover from this side, I'll get this particular length. What I'm supposed to do from the width of 300, if you want, I'll write this as this width is 300. Okay. So from this 300 width, if I deduct one cover, if I deduct one cover from here, one cover from here, I'll get this particular length. Okay, so try to do that calculations. So B will be B is equal to 300 is the width of your plane beam minus one cover. If I do, it will be how much 275 mm. So this we understood from here. It is 275 mm. Okay, great. Yeah, I'll keep it here only. Else let me, okay, I'll keep it down. Yeah, now it's, this is 275 I understood. Now what I'll do, I'll try to find this A this height from here to here. How do I find? For that, I know this angle. This angle is 34.34. This angle is how much? 34.34. How did I get that? Because the slope, the way you're putting your rebar, we already found just the flight will be put at an angle of 34.34. Okay. So if your flight is being put at an angle of 34.34, then obvious is that whatever bars you are going to lay, you know, they are also laid at an angle of 34.34. I'll show you one PPT. Through that, I'll explain you how it looks practically. Right now, try to understand that. So, I have an angle. I have a base. Can I not find this particular thing? Very simple. I can find it. Again, I'll apply a formula called as tan theta. So, tan Q. Tan Q is equal to, okay, it will be tan Q or tan theta is equal to how much? It is opposite by base. Okay. So, again, tan Q what is opposite? Opposite, I don't have any value, but I'll, this opposite is this one. Okay. I'll write it as A because A is unknown, but base already have found it is 275. So it is 275. Again, tan, what is Q? Q angle, I know it is 34.34 is equal to A divided by 275. Now you have two known, you have one unknown. So if I want to find A, A will be how much? A will be tan, exactly 34.34. If I multiply this by 275, tell me what is the answer you are going to get. Tan 34.34 into 275 will give me 187.78 mm. You have to do it manually, but your answer will match with my answer. Got it? Simple. So again, another unknown what we had, this particular length from here to here. I found it and it came out to be how much? It came out to be 187. It came out to be 187.78 mm. Now what I will do is I will take out this thing. Right, I'll keep it here just for our understanding. Okay, finish. So you understood, you know the base now. This base, you know, it is 275. You know this height, which is 187. With this, can you not find this particular length? Very simple. Again, apply the hypotenuse. Again, apply the uh, Pythagoras theorem. So Pythagoras theorem, I'll write it here. So C is equal to C is equal to square root of SQRT. Okay, square root of how much? 275 whole square plus 187.78 whole square. Try to do this calculation. 187.78 whole square plus 275 whole square. So whatever you do, you should get the C value. So C value, if you do, it will come out to be 333 or sometime it is 332.99. I can take it as 333 mm. Simple. That's it. So C, I'm going to write it here. So this C, whatever I got, it has come out to be how much? 333. Finish. That's it. So now we understood that this particular inclined length, what I have, no, it is 333 mm. Simple. 
So whatever, if you ask me, how did I find that? All the calculation I've explained you how to find it. Okay. I hope you have got an idea how it has to be done. Most of the calculation I have taught you how it has to be done. Yeah. Fine. This much you understood, right? Same thing it is written here. This this particular portion what I had done, I've enlarged and I've explained you how to get that 333 mm finish. So once you understand all these things, note down the value. This inclined length only I require 333. Now, what is the last portion? The last portion what I have is this particular length I want to find. Which one? This is missing. This I haven't found. How you will find it? It's very simple now. How you are going to find this particular length? If I want to find this particular length, what I'll do? What is the depth of my beam? So this overall depth of my beam, it is mentioned here. Overall depth is 500. So from the overall depth, I'll write it here. I'll write it here. Find it is my overall depth. From this, okay, I'll deduct how much? I'll deduct this 187.78. I'll deduct this 187.78. 187.78. Minus one cover in the bottom I'll deduct. Why? This bar, whatever you have, it will not go completely. One cover you have to leave. Now you'll ask me, sir, why you are not taking the top cover? See, top, whatever length we got, no? This 187. This 187 is from here. Okay? This is starting from here. So there is no point in deducting any cover. Only this bar, when it goes to the bottom, it won't go completely. So one cover gap I'll leave. So this length I know from here to here I know the length. Okay. So overall depth I know from the overall depth if I deduct this much length I'll get this much part. But in this if I deduct the cover also bottom then this length I'm going to get. Simple. So try to do the calculation. Tell me what is the answer you're getting. 500 minus 187.78 minus 25 if you do. It comes out to be how much? 287.22 mm. Finish. So first bar BBS I have done. So we understood what is the length of this. We understood this inclined length. Then this inclined length also I knew. And this yellow line from here to here also I got the answer. So with this, can you not find the complete cutting length of your bar? You can easily do that. Now I'll go to the Excel part. So in the Excel, I've prepared a shape something like this. Can you prepare a shape something like this? You can do that. I'll just give an example. Go to the insert. Okay. So in the insert, go to the illustrations. Go to the shapes and take this particular thing. So try to create a shape on your own. So this is one, this one will go straight. Okay. Make it little straight. Okay, I'll do it here. Okay, I made it straight. Slightly it is tilted. Then you click on that, go to the shape, shape outline, weight, and you can increase the weight. If you want, you change the color, I'll make it to black. Now you again you select control C and control V. Now you make this as inclined length. Okay. It is going something like this. This is up to the top of the plinth beam. Again, if you want, come here, change the color, make it as red color. Okay. Now again, you say control C and control V. So this is another inclined portion that is from the top of the plinth beam, which will enter, which will enter, which will enter into your waste slab like this. And if you want, change the color for that also. So it is easily understandable. And then the last one part, which will go into the landing level. Select on that and you can select like this make it straight you can even yeah and now you change the color of that select on that shape format this one and uh, make it as blue got it so can you do a shape something like this same thing i've done it here okay this much you can do and then you can select everything you select this select this select this select this right click go to the group and make it a group now it will act like a single unit and you can keep it wherever you want if you want to decrease the size select from here you can decrease this this way also you can decrease and you can bring and you can keep it here okay that you can do no? the same thing i've done this much you can do if you want i'll do one more thing here what I'll, I'll select this control c i'll come here so you have to make a background something white that you know how how it has to be done so you have to copy all these things i think all these things i've taught you how to do all these things i think that much understanding you have now Okay, if you're doing it manually, well and good. Then what you do is select one particular row, something like this. And come here and make it as white in color. And then you paste it. Like whatever you selected, no? I selected from here. I select this. Control C. I'll paste it here. And I'll paste it here. Okay. Fine. This much you can do. Now one by one, you can write everything here. What was this length we got just now? This vertical portion length, how much we got? 287. Point. 22 right so i have written that 287.22 here 
okay fine again you can bring it like this then what was this inclined portion this inclined portion how much we got this was 333 mm so i've written 333 if you want you can bring it little closer also okay that is a okay fine no problem okay you can do like this or even you can drag it and keep it like this remove it again you can bring it down also bring it down yeah now it looks good then you delete this if you want you can bring it closer i feel no problem this is enough okay then what is this length yeah this length i'll tell you how to do inclined length if you remember initially how much we got 2701 we had got isn't it you remember right when i was explaining i told whatever inclined length we got was 2701 when you had done square root of 2230 and 1524 if you do you'll get 2701 so write 2701 here but again small changes has to be done here and last this portion was left on this was how much 910 minus 20 we did which is 890 mm so 890 you can see it here this much you can do no so all the things i've explained you how to input the value this much you can do then you can bring it to the center and all that thing you do on your own see it has come to the center this also you bring it little closer and then you select all these things okay and then you make it bold and whichever font you want you can keep it now it will look good this much you can do great so already i've done and kept it again i won't be explaining you the same thing this much i've understood this, uh, this much i've told you okay now coming to the main question this is understood 287 we understood how it came 332.99 you can make it as 333 also then this is 890 now come to this portion 2681 so how did this 2681 come that is a big question see when i told you that this particular length what you found is 2701 from here which is that yeah this yellow color from here to here it was 2701 but actually when you're placing the bar your bar will not go to the top you have to leave one cover here that means practically when you put a bar this bar will go from here it will stop up to here only up to here it will stop so that in the top whatever you can see you know this much gap in top this much gap whatever you can see this is a cover what we are going to leave and then this bar will get a bend and it will be taken like this okay so this top how much cover you are going to provide since it's a staircase landing area for staircase we give 20 mm cover so in 2701 you have to do the deduction of 20 mm so that is why in the excel what i have done 2701 minus 20 is what i have done understood so this completely will go up to here and this is 890 that is 910 is the width of your landing minus one side cover i have deducted which is minus 20 finish now what is the name of the bar that you have done so this particular bar what i call is called as a main bar in the longitudinal direction Okay, what is the name of the bar? It's a main bar, which is coming in the longitudinal direction. So I've written main bar along the length direction, or you can say in the longitudinal direction. Okay, this much is understood. Now come to the number of member. Only one member I have. Diameter of the bar, you have to come to the drawing. So check that bar, what they have mentioned. See, they have mentioned, this is yellow color, isn't it? They have mentioned you have to provide a 12 diameter bar at 150 center to center spacing. So what you will do, I'll return 12 bar, 12 diameter bar. Spacing is, I've written, 150 number of bar i'll explain you later come to the cutting length so cutting length will be 287.22 plus 333 plus 2681 plus 890 if you do you'll get the cutting length okay if i do that i'll do it here 287 plus 333 plus 2681 plus 890 if i do i'll get 4191.22 but again you can if you want you can do the bend deduction if not you don't have to do if you want to do the bend deduction so there is two bend which is happening one is this bend which is a 45 degree bend here then another 45 degree bend is happening here so one 45 degree bend is we do 1d deduction so 1d 1d comes out to be 2d so what you can do is you can do a 2d bend deduction here how much you can do 2d so what i have done minus open the bracket 2 into d diameter is 12 and close the bracket finish 4167 you are getting same thing i got here 4167 so total cutting length in meter will be 4167.22 you divide it by 1000 you'll get it in meter this much is understood now come to the most interesting part that is number of bar how much number of bar is coming so for that i'll show you one practical uh, image only so that it is easy for you to understand yeah so practically whatever bar we found no, this is that bar which we have found so it was a bar something which was going in this way okay it will go like this it will get a crank and it will go like this okay you cannot identify the crank now so this is that bar which has gone okay longitudinal bar along the length direction let us say this is the cutting length what we have found now 
Now, how you will find the number of bar? To find the number of bar, it's very simple. You can tell me that, sir, you should tell me what is the width of this stair, okay, width of this landing, I mean width of this flight. And from both the side, I'll detect the cover. One cover from here, one cover from here. And whatever spacing of the bar if we have, if I divide it, and if I add plus one, I'll get the number of bar. Very simple, right? So you can see practically how these people have put the bar. See, the first bar, what they have put is from here. And also the first bar, or the, let's say the last bar, what they have put is from here, right? So that means you can see a gap of 20 mm. This gap, what they have from the shuttering, this gap is 20 mm. From here also, the gap is 20 mm. So whatever is the width of your flight, both the side you have to detect the cover, divide by the spacing and add plus one, you'll get the number of bar. Okay. Now, again, if you want to see one more image, this is how it looks. Okay. That means the bar has come like this. You see here, you can see the crank which is given here and then it has gone like this. Same thing we did the calculation, right? It came like this. It has a crank has been given and it has come like this. Got it. So this much is understood. So for that, you have to understand what is the width of your flight. So width of your flight is 1, 2, 2, 0. So what I'll do, 1, 2, 2, 0, minus 20, minus 20, divide by the spacing, plus 1 if I do, I'll get the number of bar. I'll do that. 1, 2, 2, 0 is the width of your flight, minus 20 on the left side cover, minus 20 on the right side cover. Whatever I get, I'll divide that by spacing, that is 150, and plus 1 if I do, I'll get the answer. Okay. I'm not getting the answer because I have to close the bracket here. Okay. So whenever on the Excel sheet, try to close the bracket and put the proper brackets, open bracket and close bracket. I'm getting 8.867. So this 8.867 is not coming in round number. So what you're supposed to do, you have to round up. Come here and write R-O-U-N-D, round up, open the bracket, then plus one you're done, comma, zero, close the bracket, finish. How much you got? So nine number of bars will come. That's it. So the total cutting length will be cutting length of one bar multiplied by number of bar multiply by number of member, this will be 37.50 meter. So it's a 12 diameter bar, isn't it? So I'll put the weight in the 12 diameter column. So what will happen? Cutting length of one bar, that is 37.50, multiply by the weight of the 12 uh, mm bar, which is 0 0.888. So 37.50 into 0 0.888 will give me 33.30 kg. That's it. Simple. It's not simple, but it will take some time for you to understand. So in this way, for the bus, the first bar, whatever we had, no, this yellow color bar. For this BBS, I've explained you how it has to be done. So you need to practice it once again. Try to practice it and you'll master it. So one, now you practice along with me. Okay. Else you can take your own height. Instead of taking 1524, you take 1600 and you take this as 2800 and try to do the calculation so that it will be a kind of a practice for you. Got it? Great. So up to here, try to prepare your Excel sheets. If you're not preparing Excel sheets, try to do at least manually. One or two times you practice, you'll master it. Simple. So in the next lecture, we'll go with the other bar that is a transverse bar we have. Then we have this kind of bar. We have this kind of bar. So there are different types of bar which will come in your staircase, which will take you some time to understand. We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.